we are live in the St. Cloud State Esports Arena for week six of the NAC competition here for Varsity Rocket League. It's it's time. It's a little bit late, but after the spring forward, it might not be, it doesn't feel as late as it has been. Good evening, everybody. I'm Sage Ruff inside the FPSU Esports Arena. It's going to be a difficult week six for St. Cloud State University as they take on Missouri Western. St. Cloud State University one and three heading into tonight, though they are better than their record shows as they played the top three teams heading into tonight's standings, and all three of those teams are undefeated, so the CSU lost all three, so they are better than all, all their teams show. It's, it's for Western Michigan, they are deep in that mid-pack battle, trying, trying, trying to establish themselves as playoff contenders heading through tonight's game, and that's going to be the story as we get into the starting lineups for SCSU. It's power Captain Cadden straight for SCSU. They've been here all semester. They were starting to get it figured out. Again, they started slow last semester, but now they're starting to get it under control and starting to maybe try and find something. They had, they had some success two weeks ago, but it's, it's going to take a little more against this Western Michigan squad, but they've started to find something. Their communication is getting better. They are looking for some sort of an opportunity. And for Missouri Western State, it is Elites, Slim Shady, and Wyatt going for them. They are deep in that mid-pack battle themselves. And CSU has never played to Missouri Western, so it's going to be the first matchup. Very important to win the first matchup. Set a good reputation for the school and uh, show that you are you belong in this conference. The CSU in the new conference this year, they... They really had a whole lot of success last year, going all the way to the finals before the Kansas State. Now, uh, upper division in the highest division of NACE. They're, they're looking to get things going, and they're looking to get their offense going. Because in the games where they have won, in the series that they have won, and they have scored 12, they scored 12 goals in the three-game sweep that they won in back in week number three. In in the three losses so far, they have scored a grand total of 10 of 10 goals all the way series. So. When the offense gets going, they'll be unstoppable. But the offense has just been so inconsistent all, 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 all week. It keeps long. It's going to be real difficult. Again, at CSU, they aren't, aren't one as bad as the record shows. The record might say one and three on the scoreboard. But they've played the top three teams, and teams including Dayton, who is unbeaten. All their teams are unbeaten going into tonight's game. Scores may be updated throughout the night, but... SCSU not as bad as the record shows. Now they're going to get into some comparable easier opponents. Comparable comparably easier opponents than the the top of the top heading into tonight's game. So SCSU, I wouldn't call it a must win just yet. They can definitely sneak in, but a win would definitely boost confidence coming out of the spring break, coming out of the spring forward. Weather's nice outside. I it would be great to keep the morale going with a win. And again, Pat. Power started to really turn it on on two weeks ago. He was a little bit absent through the first four weeks of play, but last week, week number five, he was able to really shine. Even though they didn't win, Power was one of the lone bright spots. He got a few more goals. He was getting on the chances. He was making saves. It's it's an entirely different Power after President's Day, and uh, he seemed to really struggle to open the year. In the first the first three weeks of competition, he had only gotten one goal, and then he. He had a bit of an offensive outburst with the team against Kansas State they, in the one series that they have won so far. Power had a nice offensive outburst for a few goals, but the story so far has been in that series was straight for with his hat trick and multiple multi goal games and lots of assists. So, Power, he got it back underway two weeks ago. I mean, the team lost and they've had some communication issues, and the storyline of the season for SDSC was a missed opportunity. Week one against Dayton, they were they were in every single game they were in, and then they just they just couldn't pull it together. They won a game and they won their one game in overtime. It took three minutes to do it. They did eventually win it in overtime, but SCS in overtime, and then they lost the next one, getting shut out. But it was only by one nothing, and they had plenty of great chances. So missed opportunities been the story of the season from start to finish for SCSU. They had opportunities. They had opportunities two weeks ago as we get into game number one. Thank God State and one, Missouri Western double power, bringing it in. Going up. Elite's going up. Knocked down there. Captain's able to get a pick. Power they will not get away. they will not get away. There's power knocked away from the elite who circles back, trying to pick up some boost. 
Wyatt going in. He's going to try and dribble. Captain's able to knock it down and bring it up the half wall. Captain can try and bring it up the sideboard. Elite is able to knock it away and send it towards the net. It's going to end up going just wide. Elite on the follow up. Big save there from Captain. And Cap for straight, Captain's able to not put it into his own net with a very. Very slow play, straight on the half wall. Gets it past the attack. Power is able to help assist it. Can't get it by Elite, but now Captain's got it into the corner. Flim Shady's got it there. Captain, good rebound off the corner to get it up the half wall, but Elite is going to send it right back down. One minute into this opening match, still scoreless. Most of the play has been in the SCSU end. And Captain trying to get it out. He's got no boost, and he's got the ball in the half wall. Straight. Doesn't get the best 50-50 of the Elites, but their power has it. Power is able to knock it down. Power trying to work it. Well. Captain the shot. Saved by Slim Shady coming across. Slim Shady. He's going to try and bring it up. Straight's able to send it towards the net. Wyatt's able to tip it up. Captain going up for it. Gets the bumper on it. Captain just missed. Looking for either Wyatt or the ball, and he got neither. Captain's trying to bring it out. Elites. Bring it in. Going up with it. Straight's able to knock it down. Power is able to get it on the follow-up. Captain's also going up with it. He's sending it towards the goal. He's looking for a flip reset. Wyatt's able to knock it down. Power with a shot. Elites with a save on the cycle back. Now, Elite's able to cycle it back down. He's going in. Captain's able to knock it away and get it to power. Elite takes out Captain. Slim Shady with a shot. Straight's able to knock it away. Wyatt on the follow-up. That's going to go high. Wyatt continues to look for a follow-up. Doesn't have the momentum, and now he's in the SCSU goal. Captain's trying to bring it up. Elite's able to knock it down. Elite's with a shot. That's going to go high off the crossbar. He had a chance, and he just put it high. Captain, bring it down. Captain versus Wyatt with Elite's on the back. Jack and Wyatt's able to knock it away. Great. Looking for a follow-up. Wyatt's able to come out of the goal and get a nice save. Elite knocks it down. Gets jumped out of the way. It's still loose by the Missouri State goal. And it's sent back towards the goal. Not quite out. Wyatt's trying to knock it down. Power takes out Wyatt. Straight with a shot. Uh, straight takes out Slim Shady. And then Power tries to center it to the middle. That's going to go just high and wide. Straight. Looking for a follow-up. He's looking for Power in the middle. Not going to get there. Elite's going to go back first. Power and Captain combined for a send it to the corner. Shady's able to knock it away. Straight's got it there in the middle, but he doesn't get the best touch on it. Now Elite has it in the corner. Looking for Wyatt coming across. That just failed to connect. All the way down in Western Missouri again. Two minutes to go. Slim Shady knocks it down over power to Wyatt. Captain's able to intercept it and send it back towards the Missouri, West, Missouri Western State goal. Weird bounce on the goal line. Straight scores! Weird play. It just hung out on the goal line for way too long. Punk. Slim Shady didn't get the best touch on it. Wyatt couldn't get there. Elites couldn't get there. Straight does to just finish it over the goal line. It's one nothing. St. Cloud State. They don't ask how. They ask how many. And St. Cloud State is up one to nothing. Straight looking for a follow up. He's looking to get more. Straight looking for a double tap. That's not gonna go. Power. He's got it in the corner. Elites is able to knock it down. Captain tries to get a follow up. That's not gonna go. Now Elites is gonna bring it in. Captain's just gonna gently guide it into the corner. Corner. Wyatt, Wyatt and Straight go wheel to wheel in the corner, and that ends with neither really winning. Elite tries to get a follow up on the centering. That's not going to go. Power gets it past Slim Shady, gets it past Wyatt, and now he's going in. Power gets it taken away by Elites on the back check. Elites, he's going to bring it to the wall. He's getting boost. He's got a full tank of boost, and he's going up with Captain Cat. Captain Cat's able to get that as the ball's in the Missouri Western end. 70 seconds to go in this game, number one. Wyatt, he's got the ball in the corner. Tries to get it by, but Straight's able to knock it down. He's going to bounce off the top. Captain with a touch. Not quite enough. Straight tries to center it off the wall. That's not going to find anyone. Wyatt misses. That's going to allow Power to try and get up with it. Low shot. Power doesn't get a whole lot on it. That's going to get cleared down in the FCSU end. Elites with a shot. That's going to go just high and wide. Captain Cat on the follow-up with 45 seconds left to go in this game number one. Captain's going to try and bring it all the way down. Straight doesn't get there first. Elites is able to get it and send it all the way down. Power is back there and waiting, and he gets just enough on the touch on it to throw Elites off. Wyatt, centering pass, looking for someone in the middle. No one there. Captain's able to knock away. 30 seconds left. Power's going to send it all the way down. Look at Wyatt goes up. He's going to knock it down. Captain's able to send it towards the net. Slim Shady's there. Power tried to get a deflection to the post. It's going to go just wide. Elites with Wyatt heading up. Captain's able to knock it down. Slim Shady gets bumped out of the way by straight. Captain gets denied by Elites. Big save there for Elites coming across to the post. Captain had an empty net, and Elites was able to get to the post in time. Far second, three, two, and one. Missouri Western has to score to send it. It's knocked down just in front of the net. SCSU takes game one by a score of one to nothing. 
straight with a goal, but capping with the MVP with more saves and more shots. Straight, although he got the goal, he wasn't the main benef- he wasn't the main person who set up the goal. It was rather lucky goal, but you got to be lucky to be good and good to be lucky. And St. Cloud State leads the series by a score of one nothing. Something they haven't done. They've only done one other time this semester, and it ended with a, with a very quick sweep. So, SCSU in good company. They always tend to start slow. Here they start off. Offense didn't quite wake up as much as expected, but one's enough if you don't allow anything in. Again, Missouri Western University had more total score, but SCSU had more even spread up score, and more importantly, the only goal of the match, leading to their one nothing win in both the game, and they take a one nothing lead in the series. Now, the pressure shifts immediately to Western Mich- Missouri Western University. They now have to try and steal three out of four, which is a lot more difficult than three out of five. If they have almost no more room for mistakes now, it's going to be all about all about limiting the mistakes from Missouri Western. That's something that they're going to need to do. They they didn't make many many major mistakes, but the one major mistake they did make, it ended up in the back of their net pretty quickly with the miscommunication on the goal line. St. Cloud State, they need to do a good job forcing opportunities in this game number two, and immediately it ends up in the Missouri Western State end. Some shady controls with boost, captain's able to knock him down. Allen? And then there's Power trying to get a good follow-up. He's going up. He's looking for a centering pass. Wyatt's able to knock it down straight to Captain. He's looking for a shot that's not going to go. Wyatt's able to center it. He's looking for a lead from the half wall. Straight intercepts and keeps it in the Missouri Western end. Straight centering pass. Looking for Captain. That's It's going to get there eventually, but at least put it under pressure. Another centering pass. Gets it it's sent over the head of Power and down in the FBSU end. Power waiting back. Straight Eight and Captain, all three going for the ball there. They finally space out, and Straight's able to send it down in the Missouri Western end. Elite is there to knock it down, doesn't get the best touch on it. Power, centering pass. And Shady's able to knock it down. Captain, another center. He's able to get there first. Straight, awkward angle, couldn't get the best touch on it. It's going to go back down in the FDSU end. Captain's able to guide it to the corner towards safety where Wyatt controls. Captain's able to win the battle in the quarter and get it to Power up the middle. Elite is able to knock it away before he gets taken out of the play. Power on the half wall, looking to make something happen. Didn't get the, uh, enough of his tire on it, and that's going to give it for Captain Cat in the corner. Captain centering pass, shot off the post from straight. Straight hit double post, power on the lead half. And it's one nothing St. Cloud State. All three all three members had, had a great opportunity on that goal. Straight hit both post and crossbar, and then Power is right there on the follow-up to get it in sight of both defenders. And now SCS2 leads one nothing a minute and 15 seconds into game number two. Ooh. Straight immediately gets a good opportunity on the kickoff for some shady controls. Power is able to knock it all the way down. Looking for looking for a long goal. Power tip off the post. Straight unable to follow up on the rebound before Wyatt gets there. Captain doesn't get the of the centering pass on it. Now power is stuck at a weird angle. He's got it now. He's gonna send it back down on the Missouri Western end. Captain in, tries to get it brute force his way through from the side of the net. That's not gonna go. He's gonna end up down on the Missouri Western end. Power is able to send it up. Some Shady's going to cycle it back down into the corner. Captain sends it, clears it. He's going to straighten power to tip it down in the Missouri Western end. Elites knocks it down there where Captain's able to follow up on it. Bring it to the front of the net. Power scores again from pretty much the same spot. Another beautiful goal. If you want bread, go to the store. If you want a goal, go to the net. Power's right there, right on the goal line. It will put it over the goal line. And St. Cloud State is up 2 to nothing, having scored all three goals of this in so far, Missouri Western scoreless after almost eight minutes of play here in this week six. Captain's able to get a little control on the kickoff. Immediately gets taken out by Wyatt. Elite brings it in. Straight. Knocks it down. Dangerous pass off the post. Power is there. Captain's able to get a good save. Captain gets it up over Elite. And there's Straight with a shot. Tries to get it past Wyatt. Wyatt doesn't get all of it. And Straight has scored. Straight put Wyatt in a difficult position. He got a piece of it but he didn't get enough of it to deflect it off of its course. And and with that, State doesn't even need to follow up on it. It's just going to go into the net. St. Cloud State leads 3 to nothing. They have all four goals scored here in this Week 6 matchup. Two minutes, 45 seconds to go. SDSU up 3 nothing, and with all the momentum so far, but Elites gets it up and over straight, but it's too far, and he couldn't get any finish off the post. Then Shady guides the ball and straight into an awkward angle in the corner. Power, centering pass, Elites with a save. Captain going back for boost, which allows the Leeds to try and get a run at it. Doesn't go. Slim Shady able to pop it up. White and straight going up with straight with a touch first. Power with a shot. He's looking for the hat trick. Slim Shady says no. Elite is going to carry it all the way down. Yeah. 
and Elite gets it past Captain. Wyatt could not get it past Straight and into the goal. Straight and Power pass it back and forth in the middle where Power is able to bring it up. Wyatt goes up with it to try and center it back. He's looking for Slim Shady. Straight's there will the intercept and get there first. Elites and Captain going up for it. That's not going to go. Power on the follow-up. He's going to get it all the way down on the Missouri Western end. Captain centering pass. Power couldn't get there in time. Captain follow-up. That gets blocked by Wyatt. Straight gets it into the corner. He's looking for a follow-up. Captain tries to get it to the net. Power going up for it. Back in the corner again. Looking for a center. It's going to end up towards the middle where Wyatt's able to knock it away. Straight gets it up, sent up and over him by Elite. Captain knocks it down, and Elite has scored Missouri Western's first goal of the week. Cuts the lead to 3-1. to one. Elite's able to get enough of it over Power. It gets a nice high double pass. One bouncer into the net, and with just over 90 seconds to go, Missouri Western has life as they're only down by two now. No. Oh. Power gets a nice move on the kickoff, and he and Wyatt go after it in the corner. Tries to get it past, past Elite, but he puts it just a bit too much on it and goes over the goal. Power with no boost versus Elite, who also has no boost now. Elite is able to get it down in the corner. Power has very limited boost at the moment and is really struggling. Power then gets taken out, so he's got to leap a little bit back. Straight. The captain sends it net. Looking for straight. He's got it in the corner. And for a centering pass, like it's knocked away by some shady. Power back in the action with boost. He's going to try and look for a nice double tap in the corner. Wyatt doesn't get enough best touch on it. And that means, means that captain's able to send it back down in the, into the Western Michigan end. One minute to go. Straight follow-up shot. Going, going in. Straight has scored his second of the game. And power with the shot elites with a very awkward touch that left it exposed in front of his own net. Wyatt could get across in time. And St. Cloud State restore, restores that three-goal lead. They're now up 4-1 to one with just under a minute left to play. Hey, St. Cloud State, barring a catastrophe, is looking on the verge of going up 2-0. But it's not quite over yet. It's it'll just, uh, just three goals, and we've seen three goals disappear in a hurry in the past. Captain's got it in Western Michigan end. Looking for a center. Doesn't get enough to touch on it. Probably bumped by some shady. Power going up. Elite's able to clear it away. 30 seconds left. SDSU up by three. Straight. Able to take out the attack. Uh, Captain's got it in the corner with some shady controls. Power sends it all the way down. Elite's is able to intercept and keep it in the corner. 20 seconds to go. Wyatt centering pass. Power is able to slow it down in the corner. 15 seconds to go. Power brings it up. Gets a nice up there from Captain, that's going to end up going just high. Follow-up opportunity, Captain is taken out by Elite. Six seconds, five, four. Captain doesn't get enough on it. Elite scores his second of the match to cut the deficit to four to two, but it's going to be too little too late. It looks like FCSU is going to take this one. Elite's making the final score look not as bad, giving them some momentum going into a crucial game three. Four seconds to go. Missouri Western needs two. Four seconds, three. Two and one. It's going to be all the ball has to do is touch the ground, and SCSU is going to win. Power dribbles it in, looking for the hat trick. Not going to go. Think that state with two. They take a lead in the series, two to nothing. Take a look at our players of the game. And once again, Captain with the highest score, even though he doesn't have any goals, but he does have three assists and two saves, leading to a more, more playmaker style of game where he was there on all the action. Power with two goals. His first two goals of the series. And then straight, he was there with two goals and assist and a say it was well flying all over over elites with the only two goals for Missouri Western. Missouri Western with their back against the wall, but they did get some momentum. They did get on the scoreboard this match. They and they did get the last goal of the match. So they know they can score. And it's just a matter of putting it all together going into this pivotal must win game three from Missouri Western. SCS2, they've been up 2 nothing only once before. That was in their win over in week number three. And so SCS2 looking to close out a series once again and continue their stat where if they if they take the lead in the series, they never give it up. They have not given up the a lead once they've had it in the series so far. They're looking to continue that tonight. Power getting back to his offensive ways. He's got he had two goals in that game number two. He's finding a spark after President's Day. A, and the spring break ha hasn't slowed him down at all. Straight, even more so. He's been able to spring forward and keep up with all the pace of play where sometimes he struggled last year. And we go into game number three. If SDSU wins this, they'll win in the entire game. If Missouri Western wins this, they'll go to game five. Straight just got under a ball or he would have had his, his fourth of night. 
power, looking for straight. Wyatt's able to intercept. Straight's able to get a good rebound shot. He's going to send it to the corner where Elite's controls. Elite's going to bring it up. Oh, but it's going to get intercepted, and now Power has it. Power with a shot. Captain gets in front of it and sends it to Straight. Straight with a shot. It's going to go just high. Captain looking for a follow-up. And that's where Elite's is going to control on the side of the net. Elite's getting bumped out of the way by Captain. Allows Power to get in with a centering path. Power going 3v1. Gets it out to Straight. That's going to go just wide. Probably would have hit the post anyway. Captain gets taken out by Slim Shady. Power does not win a ball. It's the ball worth Wyatt. Straight does win the race. The ball off the touch. Power centering pass. Looking for Captain in the middle. That's just not going to go. Power able to slow it down for Elites. And Captain's able to chip it up. Straight comes flying in off the side. Looking for a shot. It's going to go just wide. Power controls it in the corner. Centering pass. Knocked away by Elites. Captain centers it. Towards the net. Elites up high. Going to fall in front of the net. Elites is able to get enough of a misdirecting touch on it to clear it all the way down. Elite takes that. Oh, Captain. Slim Shady centering pass. Wyatt with a shot. Save by Power off the bar. Elite's on the follow up. Straight is able to clear it off the top bar. Slim Shady knocks away from Power, but Straight's able to get enough one touch on it. Wyatt sends it all the way down. Captain going up. Blocks Wyatt going for something fancy off the crossbar. Slim Shady be able to knock it down. Taken out by Power, though. Captain going up the wall. Falls off. Elites doesn't quite get there. Captain's able to send it almost all the way down where Power's got it. Power with a shot towards the net. Slim Shady's able to get out of the goal from the bump from Captain Cap. Big save there from Slim Shady. Stuck in the net, but is able to get just enough out of it. Almost two minutes gone in this game number three. Still nothing, nothing. SCSU one win away from moving on. Power. The Captain Cat up the wall. Power with a shot. Gonna go high. Just missed the double tap off the bar. Straight on the follow up. It's gonna roll, and it's gonna roll in. Off the touch. Straight was not the last one to touch it, but he's going to get credit for it. He got the last touch in the slot. Just bounced around. Slim Shady tried to clear it. It hit the post and went in. They don't ask how. They ask how many. And SCSU is up one to nothing. Straight was couldn't quite get the best touch on the kickoff. Captain. Well, Captain Wyatt's both faked for a ball, but it ends up working in Missouri Western's favor. Not anymore as Powers able to knock it down in the corner. Still in the corner where Elite's control, centering pass. Cap Straight's able to knock it away where Captain was also there or waiting for defense. Wyatt wins a 50-50 there with Straight, but Power is able to follow up. Power to Captain Cat, blocked by Elite's. Power going up for it. He, he beats Slim Shady to the ball. He's going to stay on the half wall. Straight just goes under the follow-up shot. Wyatt coming down. Power is able to knock it away and settle it down in the corner. Elite's is able to muscle it past Power, but Captain Cat's there to control. Captain Cat gets it taken away by Slim Shady, looking for a center. Elites goes up, that's going to go high. Wyatt, a little too close and doesn't get the best touch on it. Shady working back to control. He just beats power to a loose ball. Straight's got it. He's going to send it back to the half wall. Captain's going to send it all the way down and follow it in. This is Captain Cat with a center. Straight with a shot. That's going to go just wide. Hey. Captain Cat gets, sheds it down, looking for someone in the middle. Wyatt's able to intercept. Straight, able to slowly tap it back towards the midline where Captain Cat can get it. Captain, bringing it up. Elites is able to take it away. Elites dribbling it in on the air. Gets a bounce, bounces it past Captain Cat, but doesn't, or straight, doesn't get that as power in the goal. Now Captain Cat's able to bring it up the win. Wyatt goes up, a little too high, he hits the ceiling, but it gets knocked away. Power is able to bump it and use the extended hitbox. Straight with a shot, power also following up. Captain Cat from the slot with a shot and a goal! Captain's first goal of the game comes at a crucial time with a minute 20 to go to put SCSU up 2 to nothing, And SCSU was a minute 20 away from getting their second sweep and second win of the season. But it's still a minute 20 to go, and we've seen Missouri Western Cam score two goals fairly quickly. They did it last match. Can they do it again here? Wyatt, able to knock it down. Straight, knocks it down. Elites, gets it sent to the corner. Some shady, bring it up. Aggressive... Aggro time for Missouri Western. Nothing to lose now. Wyatt, centering pass. Straight waiting in the goal, but the Captain Cat's able to bring it up in the corner. Elites gets it forced past him by Power. Power going to slow down, try and bring it up. Gets it up over Wyatt. Straight with a shot off the bar. Follow-up chance. Going to go just wide. Power. Center, another centering pass. Wyatt make, er, Slim Shady makes sure it doesn't get to the bar in time. Captain Cat doesn't get the best touch on it. Power tries to get it all the way down. Elites is there to block it. Power's got it again still. Some shade. He's going to send it all the way down. 35 seconds left to go in the game. Missouri Western needs two to keep this, to keep it alive. 
elites in the corner looking for a centering pass. Quieto's too close and couldn't get enough air time on it. Slim Shady waiting in the middle. Waiting, waiting. Wyatt's able to send it all the way into the corner. Leach tries the centering pass. 15 seconds. They need one. Net. Missouri Western needs one now. There's a shot. Big save there from Captain Cat. 10 seconds to go. Wyatt tries to get a follow-up. Straight's able to control it in the corner. Six seconds. Five, four, three. Straight gets it up over Slim Shady's head. Captain Cat with a shot. Doesn't quite go in, but it's not going to matter. SCFC is going to sweep Missouri Western by a score of 3 to nothing in the series. They win game three by a score of 2 to nothing. Captain and straight with the goals. And once again, a non-goal score wins MVP, showing the value, showing that it doesn't always matter about goals. It matters about team play and, and the execution. Power having assisted on both of his teammates' goals, or getting a save, and having a shot on goal of his own. And just overall being a rock solid force in the back line, making sure that his teammates could go for cycle plays and just keep the offense going. But for SESU, a very controlled defensive win. There wasn't an offensive outburst as, as we saw. They, their offense, it did the job enough. One goal in game one, four goals in game two, and then two goals in that game number three. Not not their most goals in the season, definitely not their least goals on the season, but their defense and setups were some of the best we've seen all season long. They converted on the opportunities. They're showing their spirit. They're having a good time. That's what happens when you sweep an opponent and it wasn't really ever, and it was, even though it was close, that makes it feel just that little bit better to show that you were better three times in a row. Oh. So it was a very quick series, only about 25 minutes. It's, and uh, that'll do it here for for week six of the NAC competition, SESU versus Missouri Western. SESU wins by a score of three to nothing. We'll see you next week for some more NACE Rocket League action.